The conception process, also known as fertilization, is the process by which a new individual is formed through sexual reproduction. Sperm begins its journey through the cervix and into the uterus. The cervical mucus plays a vital role in sperm survival. It acts as a protective and nourishing medium for the sperm, helping to extend their lifespan. Here is a step-by-step -step explanation of the conception process. In females, the ovaries release a mature egg, ovum, approximately once every menstrual cycle. This process is known as ovulation. The egg is released into the fallopian tube, where it awaits fertilization. For fertilization to occur, sperm must be introduced into the female reproductive system. This usually happens through sexual intercourse, during which sperm is ejaculated into the vagina. The sperm, containing the male genetic material, DNA, must travel through the cervix, into the uterus, and reach to the egg. Millions of sperm are released during ejaculation, but only a few will reach the egg. When sperm reach the vicinity of the egg in the fallopian tube, they start swimming towards it. The outer layer of the egg has specific receptors that allow only one sperm to bind to it. Once a sperm successfully binds to the egg, it undergoes changes that prevent other sperm from entering and it releases enzymes that help it penetrate the egg's protective layers. Eventually, the sperm's nucleus, containing its genetic material, enters the egg's cytoplasm. At this moment, the egg completes meiosis, and preparing to merge with the sperm's genetic material. When the genetic material from the sperm and egg merge, they form a single cell called a zygote. The zygote contains the complete set of chromosomes required for the development of a new individual, half from the mother and half from the father. The zygote begins to divide through a process called cleavage. The resulting cells continue to divide rapidly and form a structure called a blastocyst. The blastocyst travels down the fallopian tube and enters the uterus. Here, it will implant into the uterine lining, endometrium, approximately six to seven days after fertilization. Implantation is critical step for pregnancy, as it establishes the connection between the developing embryo and the mother's blood supply. Once implanted, the blastocyst develops further and undergoes complex cell differentiation, forming the three primary germ layers, ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. As the embryo continues to grow and develop, it eventually becomes a fetus. The fetus undergoes further development and maturation throughout the pregnancy until it is ready for birth. Thanks for watching my video. Kindly like, comment, share and subscribe my channel for more updated videos.